Hey, it's Pickle Tonight here, and I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how to make an oil refinery in Feed the Beast, because oil is pretty common to find in deserts in Feed the Beast, but it's also more efficient to use fuel rather than oil in machines such as combustion engines and things like that, because it provides more energy. Makes mining laser or makes mining. Uh, what's those things? It has. Uh, I'm gonna have to look for it. Mining. Nope. Uh, what is it called? Quarry. Yeah, a quarry. It makes quarries go faster, with because it provides more power. So, the core, <laughs> the refinery. Is actually extremely easy to make. Once you, all you have to do is really make the materials. It's not difficult at all. All you do is, and I'll do it again. Uh, let's see, R E F refinery and level or lever and force engine. And then we can get some force. That's really all you need for this setup. Is four items to refine your oil into fuel. Plus you need oil, of course. But what I found the best thing to do, just this, 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 put your force gems inside here. And all you do to fill up the refinery into the tanks if you're using just a bucket, just bucket the oil. Just take a bucket and left click, or well, right click, and it fills it up. Then you need to click on it. Oil here, oil here, and there you go. And you can hit this. And force engines, I prefer over any other engine because one, they will never explode. Okay, they will never explode. That's one thing I worry about the most when I put down the engine is that I can trust it to stay there, run, and do its job. Another thing that I'm worried about most whenever I put down the engine is how much fuel it's going to consume. Force engines use force gems, and they don't use a lot. Look how slow. You can see that number going down. All right, and you can put milk, water, anything you can probably, well, just milk or water right here. And it increases this from 4 to up to 10. That's what a throttle does. Just get you a bucket of milk, click it right there, and it throttles it, and it should say 2.5 right there. But it's extremely, extremely easy to make a, to make a refinery. Automating it is a little bit more difficult, but, oh, by the way, to get the oil out, all you do is right-click it with a bucket. It's that easy. All right, but to refine to get it back out, you need it's going to require pipes. Well, to make automate it, it's going to require pipes. It's I can make another video on how to automate it if you want me to, but since this video's main purpose was just how to get fuel into or get oil into fuel, then. I'm not going to need to, but just say in the comments below if you need me to put it, to put it up a, another video on how to automate it. But see, it's already it's pretty quick too. And about oh by the way, if you put a throttle in here, it goes quicker. Let me show you. Milk. That's all it takes. Just right click a cow with milk, and boom, 2.5, 10, and it goes quicker. See how the See how this one over here is purple and it goes slow? The green is faster than the purple. And you could, I think you could put up another engine on here and it'd make it go quicker too. You don't really need to since it's pretty fast. But And just take a bucket. Wait. Oh, no, that is right. You do have to. Okay. I was wrong. You do need a pipe to get the, to get the fuel out. So you need a waterproof pipe, which is really really easy to make all you have to do is smelt cactus and get the pipe waterproof and 
that stuff. You can search for that down here. But let me find waterproof pipe. Water proof pipe. Since oil acts as water, uh, we can do iron. Uh, I don't want iron. We can do gold waterproof pipe. Click it like that. Like like this. Bring it over. Actually, you might be able to do it. I might be able to do it like this. I'm not sure though. Yep. I think I can. And then just take the rest of the engine. That, I have no clue. Oh, yep. I know why. We need wooden. Uh, wooden waterproof pipe. Oop. Just delete this. Click. Alright, and then you need a redstone signal to turn on a redstone pump. Uh, what can we use as a Oh, I got some right here. And that should not have done that. Alright, well, I'm going to set time to down. Yep, there it goes. And it should start pumping the fuel out of here into the yep into the pipe in which you just put down a tank it's that easy and then out of the tank you can bucket it out of once it gets off yep there you go and you can also click back in just right click the tank and it gives you the, the fuel back out and it's pretty it, it's more efficient to use fuel than it is to use oil so I never use fuel my, I never use oil myself unless I just started a new world I don't have all the resources to make this, which is pretty freaking cheap if you ask me. But and force engines, yeah, they do the job. I use force engines for everything because they burn force. I mean, it is slow. So anyway, that's gonna wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed it.